It's a rhino ro riding a rocket. <laughs> uh, so funny. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Lots of new cards from the reveal stream. They didn't reveal too much Hunter classes. Uh, cards ahead of time. Hunter, two mana, bomb toss. Alright. Two mana, bomb toss, deal two damage, summon an O2 goblin bomb. O2 goblin bomb. That's right, O deals two damage opponent face. Not bad. Traditionally, deal one damage. Deal two damage is a one mana card. Let me pull out Goblin Bomb for context. Hmm. Can you turn your Goblin Bombs into threats? It's a mech. It's O2. Magnetic stuff. But what magnetic stuff would you be running? Let us consult this guy's toast.com who has the list of all magnetic stuff. Let me just pop on over to disguisetoast.com. Disguisetoast.com. Oh, look at this. Magnetic keyword and mix energy. This is so helpful. It lists all. The cards with magnetic. Wow. What a great resource. What a great resource. Uh, curves into spider bomb, which makes it a 2 4 that can attack and death rattle destroy a minion. Oh, yeah, it's incomplete. Yes. All right, chat. All right, they just had to review an hour ago. Let's uh, give the developers the time to update things. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Venomizer. There's uh, another card. Like these goblin bombs are looking more and more juicy. There's so much ways to summon them as hunter. And it looks like you have a few options when it comes to magnetic minions as well. Mech Death Rattle Hunter. Mech Death Rattle Hunter. Mech Death Rattle Hunter. Goblin Prank. Give her friendly minion plus three plus three and rush. It dies. At the end of turn. Hmm. Also, sick prank. But man, is Blizzard giving these bombs a lot of options? Now you can see. A bunch of these cards for Hunter just is able to synergize with Goblin Bomb. So Hunter's getting 10 cards, 10 class cards. Eight of them synergizes with Goblin Bomb. It's crazy. And then we're just talking class cards. We're not even talking neutral cards. Oh, cyber chip. Sorry. So you got Goblin Prank, which you can use on the Goblin Bomb to make it a, even the name, to make it a three attack minion that you can use to trade and deal damage. You got Boom Master Flark, that gives you more bombs. You got Bomb Toss, which gives you a bomb. You got Venomizer, which you can attach to a bomb. Give it Poisonous, activate Death Rattle. Because Death Rattle deals damage to opponent hero and has Poisonous, you win the game instantly. You got Fireworks Tech, which makes your Goblin Bomb a 1-3 with the Death Rattle and it triggers right away. You got Cyber Tech Chip. 
because your opponent will generally ignore these bombs. You can make, get a free mech out of it. And then magnetic on spider bomb. Mm. They did give it a lot of synergy. Hmm. Tells, wait, does poisonous deal damage to opponents instant kill? No, that was a prank. Get it? That was a prank. Sea Giant. Yeah, that's a good one too. Because I don't think you're. It's, one, it's like when your opponent plays a Devil Sword Egg these days. On one hand, well, I could kill it and give him a 5 5. Or I cannot kill it. Watch him turn that zero three into a five five, and then zero three, and then maybe another five five down the line. But do I really want to give him five five? Because when they kill it, they have to sacrifice an attack or a spell. But if they don't kill it, maybe you have a hard way to punish them. Oh, forgot about the epic, the new one. Necro mechanic. What up, Necro? Chat we eye. Chat we eye. All right, we eye. Necro mechanic. Your death rattle triggers twice. It's Baron Riven there, but for one extra mana, you get two more attack, but one less health. Yeah. I wish Play Dead was still in rotation. No, Play Dead, I mean Fain Death. <laughs> I wish Fain Death was still in rotation. That'd be sick with uh, my Necro mechanic. But as you can see, lots of Goblin synergy. And then there's Flark's Boomzooka. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be organizing these. Uh, I'll put it here, I'll put it here. I don't like Cybertech chip even with the synergy. I don't like Fireworks tech because it's a very awkward curve. Something like this. I would put this here, I would put this Here. I don't think Bomb Hunter will be that good. I don't think Goblin Prank is that good. I think they have great synergy with one another. I just don't think it's good overall. This guy's not even a Hunter card. Bomb Toss. Yeah, something like this. What's magnetic? Uh, you can attach it. You can use it as a buff card on mech minions. I'm giving Flark Boomzooka the highest rating on hunters because I think the card art is hilarious. Look at it. It's a t it's a rhino ro riding a rocket. Like. <laughs> uh, so funny. But great and death rattle hunter. It's really punishing though. Because if you hit the good cards like Lich King and Crush and Devil Sore. You're left with silver vanguards that can't pull anything. Death Rattle Hunter, this would be really nice in. So Katharina is a good pull. Devil Sword Eggs are good pulls. Anything heavy on Death Rattle would be insane. I like it. I'm gonna put it here.
Toast, if you goblin prank a mech, then you fuse it with another card, does it still die? Magnetic only is available when you play it. So you can goblin prank it, unless you're saying the minion getting pranked and then another minion attaching magnetic on it, yeah, it'll still die. Think of magnetic as a buff. It's not changing the card, transforming it. Secret plan, one mana, discover a secret. Not too bad. Only because of uh, Emerald Spellstone. It curves really nicely. <laughs> right now, hunters like to tracking into either a secret on two to buff Spellstone or Spellstone so that their secret is useful. Usually one mana, get a card isn't insane, but because of Spellstone, and I think Hunter's Spellstone is one of the best Spellstone. We have the best Spellstone, don't we? Uh, Secret Plan into Wandering Monster is also nice. So I will break this. Not too bad. It goes into a proven good deck. Alright. This is my Hunter scale from bad to good. Hmm, I wonder if Venomizer has potential combo with the Missile Boy. Alright, this is Missile Boy. I'm surprised they printed something that straight up synergizes with it. I thought we have to do some shenanigan. But check out this combo. Venomizer plus Missile Launcher. 8 mana. Destroy all minions. I guess you can kind of pull this off with uh, Baron Geddon and Poison Arrow already. But this is, I, I mean, look, 8 mana destroy all minions. Have a 6-6 six, six left on the board. It's a, it's a neat combo. I don't think it's good enough to run. Unless there's plenty of other ways you can synergize with both of them. Besides just each other. But, oh my god. You attach this and this on a goblin bomb that you have set up already. Because they're like, I don't want to fight a goblin bomb. And then you get a 6-8 that can attack and clears the board every single turn. Because they're both magnetic. How does silence work on magnetic? I think it'll just reduce the minion to the base stats. Tell us what's magnetic. What's magnetic? Mods, can we get an exclamation mark magnetic command in chat? I think we're, we're going to need one. Tell us what is magnetic. There it is. Those, why I don't really understand why they can they attack then die. Do they attack randomly? Yeah, I think they do. They attack randomly and then at the end of the turn they die. Or do they die right away? Does anyone they played this card on stream? Anyone remember do they die right away or end of turn? Because they played um Flark to Boom Zuka in the Hunter game. It dies right away? Ooh. Oh, interesting. Right away. There's some good and bad. The bad, there's some good and bad. The bad is you can't play dead on them if they die right away. But the good is you get the death rattle benefit right away. So if you flark Boomzuka into a Katharina and it dies right away and pulls a King Crush, you can still attack with it. Hmm. All right. I like the missile launcher combo. I'll probably build some deck that utilizes it. It's too inconsistent. 
it's only good if you can find a use for them in other cases besides just each other. Tell us, why didn't they write recruit? I think it's because they don't want the recruit keyword in two separate expansion years. If that makes sense. Because once kobolds and catacombs rotate out, I think that's all the recruit minions. And they don't want to have anything in rotation with their word recruit. Right? Because I can't think of a recruit keyword. So isn't this the same rotation as last year? Uh, no, it's uh, kobolds and catacombs will be rotating out at a different time than cards from this year. And it's the same reason why um, they don't put echo on old cards like unstable evolution or recruit on Yasharash because I think the reason why um, discover is around is because it's just a really good mechanic they introduce and they want to keep it around forever. Okay, that's Hunter. I like the Goblin Bomb deck. I hope it's good and be proven wrong because it's like very neat. You got a Goblin Bomb here, you got a Goblin Bomb there, you turn it into a 3 3, you turn this into a 1 3, you give this rush, you give this bomb poisonous. I like guess bomb, 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 bomb. But I don't think it will be good. Lights out.